So we start very early in the morning. We start at 8 o'clock. Each lab have a designated area. They would put your dirty glassware. Um, we would go out, we would pick it up on the cards, we bring it back. When the dirty glass is brought to the facility, um, Angela puts it into the machine. It goes into a pre-wash cycle, um, then we have an acid wash, alkaline wash, and then we have about three rinse cycles. So that whatever detergent is in the glassware, it's completely rinsed off. This is a 45 minute process. After that's done and, and the machine stuff, then she put it onto special wax that she puts into the dryers. kind of think about like a, a dryer that you put your clothes in because it circulates the air also. There's no movement in there but there is a fan that dries. And we wrap them, we put them into the, on the rack that goes into the sterilizer. The sterilizer is steam powered. It's um, 121 degrees Celsius, so it's very hot. Um, and it goes in for a sterilizing time of 30 minutes, and then it dries for an additional 30 minutes. So that when these glass will come out, you know, they're completely sterilized, but they're also dry, so there's no liquids in there, not too much condensation. When it's done, we take them out and we pack them, take them back to the lab. All this is done within one day. On a weekly average, we do over 4,000 pieces of glassware. We service um, regularly over 52 different labs. We have five people apart from myself. We work as a team. They have assigned responsibilities. However, everyone knows everything. So if someone's ill, if someone's out, you know, they can pick up the slack. And we do work as a team because without the teamwork, we will not be able to accomplish what we do. And to me, glass washing is, is the base of science. If we don't have clean glassware, we don't have good science. So we really do a, a very important part of the science here at Rockefeller.